Okay, so we work really hard on a system to visualize products and then be able to answer questions from AI. And I'll show you the demonstration here. It starts with a little QR code that's just attached to your regular brochure. Once I scan that, the product comes up here and you can see that there. Now I can look at that in 3D, take a good look, but the power of it comes when you can see it in real time position. And there we are, here's our product. Let me turn around a bit there. And coming close with me here. We can take a close look, we're seeing it in 3D, we can move around. And we can get a good feel for it. But the power of it comes with the AI side of things, and this is where a lot of work has gone into it. So I can ask any question, and not just simple questions like, what is this product? Uh, things that a consumer might, might ask. Um, how heavy is this? Just a sec, I'll find out. The X300PE ultrasonic medical device weighs 225 pounds, 102 kilograms, or 98 kilograms without OEMs. Yeah, um, uh, what software is this compatible with? Yeah, I think it. Just a sec. I think I'll it has its out. own system. DC something. The X300PE ultrasonic medical device is compatible with DICOM 3.0, pediatrics, neurology, and barcode reader software. Yeah, and there's been a lot of work in this to make sure that the AI has really deep knowledge so that it can answer questions about the product and answer questions about its use and the sort of things that a consumer or a potential customer of that product, that target audience, would ask. And in this case, this is going to be a medical technician, a medical professional who really wants to know the ins and outs of it. But the main thing here is with the guardrails in place so that it keeps the answers correct and consistent, or if it doesn't know what it tells you, I don't know. The key part to this is the last bit when I can say, um, how do I organize a live demonstration? Hold tight while I confirm that. To organize a live demonstration of the X300PE ultrasonic medical device, please follow the link provided. Good, and if I, if I follow the link, then I can set up a time with the sales team as designated by, by the pathway here. And that sales team is getting all the questions that I've asked and the answers given, so they have a really good, uh, rich tapestry of information they've given. And the marketing team also is building this big wealth of questions that have been asked from all of the brochures they've handed out along the way and gaining insights into where the gaps are. The main thing I, I carry across here is a lot of work has gone into the AI to make sure that it's clear and concise, it knows the answers it's giving, and has the guardrails in place to make sure it's not giving wrong information or misleading information. A lot of work's gone into it, and we're looking forward to bringing this to market, which we're doing right now.